Today we're going to have a look at the Victory Vegas. Now the Victory brand name isn't well known in Australia, but in America it's a household name via their parent company Polaris. And Polaris is the biggest manufacturer of ATVs and snowmobiles in the USA. Polaris started making Victory motorcycles in 1993 and the Victory company is now headed by Mark Blackwell, a former US motocross champion. The 100 cubic inch Vegas base model is a very slick looking machine for its size, but it's quite a comfortable bike in terms of leg reach to the ground and to the forward controls. The seat height is a very comfortable 673mm and it has a respectable ground clearance of 148mm. Despite the fact that it's nearly 2.5 metres long with a wheelbase of 1684mm, it is not a very difficult bike to manhandle around in your garage, which is quite good for a bike that weighs in at 298 kilos dry. The four-stroke 50-degree twin is a single overhead camshaft with four valves per cylinder, self-adjusting cam chains and hydraulic lifters. The electronic fuel injection pumps through 45mm throttle bodies and feeds the power through a gear drive with torque compensator to the final drive which is via carbon fibre reinforced belt. Wheels are 21 inch at the front and 18 inch at the rear. So we're going to take the Victory Vegas for a spin and see what all the fuss is about. I'd have to say I'm pretty impressed by the Victory Vegas. It's got a nice riding position, punchy engine, and it certainly looks apart. There's plenty of chrome, plenty of bling. So if you want to stand out, this is a good bike for you. Like any cruisers, it does suffer from a couple of the de inherent design faults of the cruiser style, which is limited ground clearance and limited rear suspension travel. For the full test of the Victory Vegas, see the May issue of Cycle Talk.